this is how to overclock your controller if secure boot is on so first things first you need to go check if secure boot is on on your pc you're going to go to system information type in system information into your windows and you're going to check the middle in the middle it's a secure boot state if it is on you're good and if it is off you're gonna have to turn it on for bo7 for battlefield 6 for whatever so how to do this if you're if it's off uh please look up your motherboard exactly your and load into your BIOS. so when we do that it's gonna be restart and as we're restarting we're gonna actually take our lovely camera here we're gonna go full screen and we're gonna spam deletes because my delete key is uh, what i need for this so we're gonna spam deletes we're gonna get into the bios and when we get into the bios we'll see you there power of editing we're here security secure boot if it is enabled you're good and if it's disabled change it to enabled you're gonna have save and exit you're gonna hit yes you're gonna make sure it's only one change here to save and exit and that's secure boot from disabled to enabled and then we're good so we're going to go on. It's going to restart your PC, and then I'll see you guys over there again. Overclock your actual controller with secure boot on. The old one doesn't work because uh, Windows 11 will not let you do so. So go to your internet browser. We're going to type in Battle Beaver Overclock. You're going to type in, uh, click that first link. Battle Beaver is actually uh, signed by Microsoft, so you can use it on Windows 11 if you read this. It is still using the same Lord of Mice uh, GitHub, but uh, this is now enabled on Windows 11. So just click download at the bottom. You're going to download it. It's going to go to your fo uh, folder here. Um, so I already downloaded it. If it says compressed, you need to unzip this file. And that, when you unzip it, so I right click it, I use 7-zip, and then I extract it. And this is what you want to do. So I am I personally make a new, uh, I, I move it to my own overclocking folder in my C drive. So I move all these into that C drive folder here. And we're going to open up the driver and hit the setup tab right here. So when you open up the setup tab, uh, you're going to look for hit all. You're going to look for the one that says your controller. So obviously mine is already overclocked. It's with Battle Beaver. So your secure boot is on. So it's enabled to work. Um, if you guys do have issues, you can change like if your game starts to stutter um, on like other anything other than Call of Duty. Call of Duty does work at 8,000 polling rate. If you have a PS5 controller, if you have other issues, you can set it down to 2,000 for a PS5 roller and like Xbox rollers, PS4 rollers, you're setting it to 1,000. Um, you're going to click filter on device, 8,000, install service. You're going to unplug your controller, plug it back in, and it should say it should look exactly like this. And that's the overclocking controller with secure boot enabled for your PC. Trust me, it's the biggest difference when PC gaming. You do not want input delay for your controller when you're gaming. Trust me. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like. Don't forget to comment below your favorite part. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. I'll answer them. And as always, see you in the next video. Peace.